big truck, tell them where this plane going. Now as we land in Matigo Bay, it's like that, it's y'all. Like Coming that, from y'all. Jamaica, you know that it's a fact, and y'all. It's a fact, but y'all. truck in case bay, now we rock and ride. Now we sipping on Bahama Mamas when we ride. Right back at you again. I'm your host, Big Truck, here at the King's Table. Peace, love, and blessings. I want to make this clear and bring this home as we check out this reaction video with uh, Chris Rock's new Netflix special, Selective Outrage. Bernie Mac, God rest his soul, D.L. Hughley, Red Fox, Martin Lawrence. Those are just the name of a few of what I know. Who will crack on you in a minute? Don't give a fuck who you are. They gonna crack on you. Okay? Comedians, they make us laugh. They tell their story. They tell their truth from their own perspective. That's all Chris Rock did. So he's getting backlash for telling the truth. America, where did we go wrong? But I know where we're gonna go right. We're going to talk about it. Let's spit fire. I don't need that smoke. I'm like, The Rock, The Rock. I do not need the smoke. Y'all know what happened to me. Getting smacked by Suge Smith. Everybody knows. Everybody fucking knows. Yes, it happened. I got smacked like a year ago. Fucking last week, I got smacked in the fucking Oscars by this motherfucker. The people I did it hurt. It still hurts. I got summertime ringing in my ear. Fucking drums, please. But I'm not a victim, baby. You will never see me on Oprah or Gail crying. I like how he said that. You will never see me. Okay? You will never see me complaining, whining about what happened. Talking about what happened. Going on network shows, social media, interviews, displaying it. I'm going to keep quiet because deep down inside, I got some room for that ass. And boy, he does. But see, that's the whole thing, though. When a person does you wrong, okay, sometimes silence is the best thing right there. It's the best medicine. Because you don't never know what that person is thinking. You don't ever know what that person is going to do. You will never see it. Never gonna happen. I couldn't believe it, and I love men in black. No. It's never gonna happen. No. Fuck that shit. I took that hit like Pacquiao, motherfucker. Give credit for that. When he took that hit, just like, just like, I took my divorce like Pacquiao. Okay? Married for 14 months. Woman decided to put me out the house and divorce me. The shit that I went through in 2019, I took that shit. I took every damn blow she gave. I mean, she fucked me up like Tyson. But I took it. I took it. Every time I fell, I got back up. Every time I fell, I got back up. Every time she hit me with something, I dropped to one knee and got back up. Every time she hit me with something else, I dropped to one knee then got the back fuck up. And I kept fighting. Time to tell my truth. Love is going to get you. Reality is going to get you. I took it like mother. Yeah, motherfucker, it hurt. And people are, well, you guys are fighting all the 
which I, we not fight. First of all, I know you can't tell on camera. Will Smith is significantly bigger than me. We are not the same size, okay? We are not. It's got this guy, Will Smith does movies with his shirt off. You've never seen me do a movie with my shirt off. If I'm in a movie getting open heart surgery, I got on a sweater. Will Smith played Muhammad Ali in a movie. You think I auditioned for that part? He played Muhammad Ali, I played Pookie in New Jack City. And he played Pookie very well. He played that character very well. Well, might I ask? Let's continue. I played a piece of corn in Pootie Tech. Shit, even in animation, this motherfucker's bigger. I'm a zebra, he's a shark. What the fuck, man? But, but, Will Smith practices selective outrage. Practices selective outrage. Because everybody knows what the fuck happened. Everybody that really knows, knows I had nothing to do with that shit. I didn't have any entanglements. Right there, that's where we go ham in. See, here's the thing. The Oscars, it was staged. The whole slap thing. The whole Jada Pickett giving Will Smith the nod. Dude, everybody know what the fuck is going on. If you woke and you know how the industry goes and you know what goes on within the industry, then you already know. Because look at everybody else's reaction. Look at every, watch everybody else's body language. That should tell you something right there. So, to those that don't know, I, and, and, and I had like many conversations with folk. Oh, he was defending his wife's honor. Nigga, fuck your damn honor. Here's the thing. What's right and right and wrong is wrong, okay. What's a ritual and what's a ritual in which we agree to. This is in the script. This is what's gonna happen. And when it happened, the ratings went up. Chris Rock's ticket sales uh, sold out. Will Smith is humiliated. Oh yeah, yeah, we gotta go and when it comes to the rituals, there's a humiliation period. Catch it. I did. I did not have any entanglement. And then for people that don't know, and everybody know, Will Smith and his wife was fucking her son's friend. Okay? Now, I normally would not talk about this shit. Hold on. Now. Let me explain this. Let me share this. The things that go on in a household, okay? August needed help, he was in a place. Jada helped him. Oh, she helped him all right. <laughs> she, she, she helped him all right. But she really took advantage of that boy. She knew what she was doing. He knew what he was doing, okay? So when you're in that, you know, when you're in that, that lifestyle of uh, sharing, we'll say, you know, and one exposes what goes on in their household, now everybody knows. It raises conversation for everybody to have Let's make that clear. It exposes conversation. It opens the doors for many people to have conversations of, what's, of what was going on in their household. But for some reason, these niggas put that shit on the internet. I have no idea why two talented people would do something that fucking low down. What the fuck? Air your private business on social media. That is the most stupidest shit I've ever heard. But it doesn't surprise me. You aired it. 
Then you admit it, what the fuck you did? I cannot be making this up. Cannot be making this shit up. You went on social media to air what you did. Will Smith should be mad at Jada. Not him. Catch it.